What's up, y'all? From Threesomes to Freak Fest to Hey Marty, this is the broke ass niggas and whack ass bitches. It's the T with V. So I'm gonna just jump right into it. The fight on live. Jada versus Zai. Zai, how is her name? Let me tell you something. Some people should not fight, you know, and this is not to pick anyone apart. This is not to make anyone feel bad, but some people should not fight. That fight was very embarrassing, very embarrassing to your, to, to, I know their friends and their family, you know, it went viral in, in a matter of five minutes and it just was so many memes and, and it just was so crazy. And I just think that, you know, people should, should, you know, stay off social media antagonizing and bullying and, 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 you know, I heard it was over someone called Dyfus. You know, I'm not sure of, you know, which one of the girls got Dyfus called on them, but I know that that was the reason of the fight. And it just was, it just, it just was, it was, it was a sight to watch. And it was just, it was comedy to me. I thought they were actually playing and, you know, that, that brings me to my next topic. You know, it's, it's all because of these fake pages and you know, people get online and they hide behind these fake pages and they just talk about people. And then when they're confronted, it's like, boom, you know, now, now you can't fight when you get confronted or you, or you don't even know how to have a confrontation because it's like, you pussy. So, it's, you know, that's just, it's just so crazy. Um, out here right now in these streets. I just feel so bad, but um, you know, to, to, to Zai and, and Sky's friends and family, you know, this is just a learning experience. You know, you guys can't let your friends be out here fighting because it looks bad. <clears throat> um, you know, people gotta stay off social media bullying people. Those fake pages, you know, a fake page will get you a real ass whooping in real life. like. I don't, I don't, I've never made a fake page. You know, when I, I get on my, my page and I'm, I call you every type of SpongeBob built body, you know, new body bitch. I'm going to say that from my page. I'm not going to make a fake page. You know, I don't understand why people making these fake pages. They make these fake pages. They get in your inbox. They talk crazy. Then I go live. You know, if anybody who knows me, you know, I go live, but I'm turning over a new leaf, you know, you know, but the T would be, I'm not going to go live anymore. I'm just going, I'm, I'm going to go live right here in this chair. I'm going to have my cards. I'm going to have my, I'm going to have my whole list. And I'm just going to go in. That's how, I'm, you know, I'm going to handle people from now on. It's, it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of tea. So now I did not want to get into this, you know, being as though I'm from, I'm not from this community, but you know, our community kind of runs in the same circles. And this is what I call Xfinity camera XXX. I know you all seen the video, the viral videos going around of the two guys, the undercover guys having sex um, and not knowing that they were under the Xfinity camera the whole time. Let me just say, I'm so glad it wasn't me. I would be in jail. I would be in jail if it was me getting caught and I would be in jail if I was catching my guy, like, it's so embarrassing. I can't believe that that happened. I just, I wish I could get in contact with these people and that they could be sitting right here to tell their side of the story because there's no point in running from it. You know, it's out there and it's, you know, it's not going anywhere. Everyone's going to talk about it and I'm talking about it. You know, once I talk about it, everybody's going to hear it. So it's like, I wish they could have been sitting right here to explain to us in the details. I mean, you see in the videos, I'm not sure if they could show the video or not because it was very graphic. So um, you can see in the video that obviously they didn't know that they were being recorded. Um, obviously, this guy, the dreadhead guy, he had just came home. So I'm sure he did. He was not familiar with Xfinity cameras. It, it just was so bad. Um, and, you know... I, I I don't understand. Like I've never been the put me on camera type of person. I just I just feel for anyone who's ever been exposed, anyone who's ever been caught on camera, you know, doing these promiscuous acts. Because it's it, you gotta have thick skin. I know you have to be a very tough person to get in front of that camera and, and suck a dick, and you're not a porn star, or or you know, I, I just I, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed for you guys. I'm so embarrassed for all of you. 
you know. It's a very, you know, it's a humbling experience. So I know a lot of people are very humble because of that. Very humble. Whew. You know, I got a little emotional. I felt so bad for everybody. Now let's get into this music. You know, it's it's so much talent. It's so much talent. And, you know, in my county, it's so much talent. We got so many rappers. We got so many singer rappers. We got singers. We got so much talent, you know. And I just feel like no one has made it anywhere yet. She little for little. She's got her butt done, so it's going to be <laughs> her little nice little natural butt. It's not botched and crazy looking like Quares. It's like really nice, really natural, really nice little petite body. It's not all crazy. It's not when you take your clothes off like what? Because that's it. Quare to like. Maybe we should put Quare on the show. She already thinks she this and that when really she hit and trash. Yeah, I said that. Check me. Check me. That's all you have to do is check me or at least try. I'm uncheckable, period. Anybody feel some type of way, I'm going to address it. So now um, it brings me to my next topic. You know, I went from fights to fake pages to fake bodies. Now we're going to talk about this fake designer. You know, I'm a strong believer in if you can't afford it, then don't get it. All that, if you adore her, Dior her. No, if you can't afford Dior, if you adore her, you better express her. You better H&M her. You know, go to Victoria's Secret, get her a little lingerie set. I do not want to see you guys walking around with these fake bags. You know, it's sad when you're walking around with a fake bag. Like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you take a picture and pose and you have a fake bag on? I just don't get it. It's like, it's like to me, wearing a fake bag is like wearing fake hair. You're not gonna walk around with synthetic hair. So why would you walk around with a fake bag? You know, I just think that's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. But you know, this is the, this is the place, this is the times that we live in. Everybody wants to keep up with the Joneses and it's just like, if you, if you wanna keep up with anybody, keep up with the Kardashians. You know, go ahead and make a sex tape, blow up like that and then get your money. You don't got to be running around here with these fake bags. I just think that's, it's, yikes. That's hashtag yikes. Um, who else? Do I have to drag anybody else? Should I drag anybody else before I leave? Hmm. I'm going to let Shanta live this interview.